Hey guys, it's the Harris family here, and I'm Lewis, and I'm doing a bake off versus my sister. So, first, we got our measuring bowl, and we I'm just gonna go over here. And I'm going to be making today a hedgehog bread. So, I'm gonna make sure you can see it properly. Well, it'll be backwards because it's on video, because yeah. So, First, we need to have 12 ounces of white bread flour. So I'm gonna go to ounce, and then here's my flour. And I'm gonna pour 12 ounces in. So, next, we're gonna, we have to put in um, one and a half teaspoons of yeast. On. Oh, so we got our measuring spoon. We've got it open. So we need to, unfortunately, try and measure it out on the spoon. Really hard because, um, it's only a little spoon in this pack. It's so big. So, yeah. Is one teaspoon, and then let's do half a teaspoon. That's half a teaspoon. So yeah, we don't need this yeast anymore. So next ingredient, need one tablespoon of sugar. Here's our sugar. And let's get one spoon out, one teaspoon. There we go. Put this to the side. So, next ingredient is a pinch of salt. Let's get a little bit of salt. And we just sprinkle it in. Next, it is one teaspoon of vegetable oil. Oh, I got some oil on me. Okay, so next, we need 220 milliliters of water. So we boiled it earlier so it's nice and cool because on the recipe it says hot water, cool enough to touch. I can touch it without getting three degree burns. Um, let's find my lovely water. Okay. We do not have any raisins, unfortunately, so we can't make the hedgehog's face. Okay, so instead, we're going to use some cherries. Can you get them down, please? Put my mum's over here. Thank you. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, so I'll make, as it comes together, get your hands in the bowl. So, just wait, it's fine. Really that much? Yeah, that's a, kind of a lot. But, you can never have too much. There we go, it's starting to come together.
think we need a bit more flour because it's getting clumpy. Let's just get my mum. Mummy! No more. Okay, just wait. Because she's currently helping my sister. Okay, we're back. So mum's been able to add a bit more flour. With my gooey hands. Shake that all in. Okay, I'm gonna mix it all up. Close to falling off. Okay, let's start kneading. Okay, my sister's already finished. <laughs> so, I bet you're gonna see me weaving. We're finished weaving. It ends up like this, as you can see. It's a little ball. And I now need to divide it into four. I think. I'm just gonna get a little butter knife and chop it up. Uh, let me just get it even quick. Okay, now I need to shape it into a hedgehog. Okay, and then pull the one out a little. Here is our hedgehog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this will be one of our hedgehogs. So my mum's doing the snipping because I'm bad at using scissors. Like, really bad. So, yeah. This is my little thing. My little, you know, his um, face is here. Just go out a bit more. Okay, so time to put the spikes on. Okay, so here is the first hedgehog. So comment down below if you like, if you want to make the um, hedgehog red. Okay, let's get the pot that we're putting them in. There's the first one. I'm gonna spray it with some fine light sunflower oil. Okay. And then put that in there. It fits perfectly. And that one in there. Then get, get the other one. 